kitchen. What is Good evening, everybody. This is Alejandro Marbona on behalf of Ingres Corporativo. Welcome, and thank you very much for being here on a Friday night. Are you guys ready? Hello, teacher. Hey, Ana Maria. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi, Catalina. All righty, let's get this started. Yeah. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Oops. Thank you. Ana Maria Chiconde Garcia. Present teacher. Thanks. Carla Ivani Cabrera Serrano. Could you close the doors? Not Thanks. present. Deborah Raquel Soto Martinez. Present. Thanks. Edson Antonio Guzman Andaverde. Not present. Fatima Pejenia Lopez Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Fernando, not present. Hector Eduardo López Varela, not present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández, present. Thank you. José Saúl González Roque, 
José Saúl. Present. Thank you. Carla Inet Amaya Herrera. Present. Thanks. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thank you. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. No, present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thanks. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Miriam. No, present. Ren Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Thanks. Rena Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. No, present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Thanks. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thanks. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thanks. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Zayba Sabar. Present. Thank you, Jocelyn. All right. Anybody who oh. just got here? Me, Ivania. Ivania, 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 Carla Ivania, Cabrera Serrano. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Rina, Miriam, Hector, and Fernando. Not here. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and continue with uh, yesterday's topic. You know the question, right? What was yesterday's topic? The use of school. The use of. The use of school. If. The use of if and when. And when. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. If, but yeah, we covered the use of could uh, previously. Yes. When and if. And when. Correct. But, mm -hmm. thank you. We use if and when to join clauses, right? Join what are clauses. the clauses that we are using at this time? Mm. Well, by the way, what's a clause? A clause is a sentence. A clause is a sentence, right? Well, pretty much a, a complete idea. What are the components of a sentence, guys? And subject plus um, simple present. Simple present. Uh -huh. In simple general, it's going to be a subject, a verb, verb and, com and plus complement. Usual uh, optional complement, right? Optional yeah. complement. And remember that okay. each tense has auxiliaries, it can have modal verbs, etc. But the base, la base de todo, the base, it is subject, verb, and complement. Yeah. Um, what are, there are different conditionals, guys. This is zero conditional, pretty much. There are different conditionals. What are the, um, the sentences we use here? What, what tense? Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. That's right. Okay. Give me a second. Did you watch the video I sent? No. 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 Not yet. I don't have the time today. Okay. Alrighty. So don't worry. Um, we're gonna be using this. I know it's muted. And uh, this. I'm not gonna get much into this, guys, because. Um. You know, we already, we had a class about this. If you want to get more information, then you can watch the video. Here, structure. We're going to have if, then if. what? Simple, simple present. Simple present, 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 present comma, comma. And simple, simple present. present simple right? present. So, for example, if or when. If you drink too much, this is the cause. This is the oh. reason why, right? Mm -hmm. And what mm -hmm. is the effect? You get drunk. You get drunk. Mm -hmm. you get drunk. Now, if one mechanical calls, he gets nervous. <laughs> okay, so what is the, the cause, guys? He's a mechanic. He's a mechanical call. Mechanical, Juan mechanical calls. Uh-huh. This is Juan the cause. Call. He gets nervous. This is the effect. Effect. Okay. Right? 
if I run, cheat on me. I get tired. I get tired. Tired. Right? What is the cause? If I run. If I run. If I run. The reason is I am a little a little chubby, you know. Um, so if I run, I get tired all the time. Okay. So this is the effect. Mm -hmm. If the bus is packed, have you ever been in a bus that is full of people? <laughs> it's packed. It's packed. That's the cause. And what is the effect? Get I get angry. I get angry. That's right. If you are in trouble, trouble this is the cause. Yeah. And what is the effect? Call the, call the police. Teacher, but this is an this is an imperative. Is this is not simple present? Yeah, you can also use imperative. Okay, okay. just for you to know. Now, guys, when do we use if yeah. for something use usual if. or unusual? Unusual. 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 Unusual, right? unusual. And when unusual. do we use when? Usual. 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 This is if you want to be very specific, but most of the times you can interchange them with no problem. Podrían ocupar la mayor parte del tiempo ambos sin problemas. But this is like, you know, the main thing. Now, any questions so far of, of the review? No, no question. No? Okay. No question. I'm doing this, guys, because I detected a little bit of um, problems yesterday using the structure. So this is a quick review. Now, it doesn't really matter, guys, if it's affirmative or negative. It doesn't really matter the order. You can have two negatives, you can have two affirmatives, or you can change them. Say with me, please. If they don't score goals, they don't win. If they don't they score goals, they don't, score they don't goals. win. They don't, they, don't win. If, they don't win. Which is the cause? If they, if they don't, don't score goals. goals. They don't score goals. So this is why, and this is the effect, effect. right? And what is the opposite? How do we switch it back? If they, do, they don't win, they don't win, they don't win, win. So if, if, win, if they don't, don't, if don't, don't score goals, goal. they, they, they don't, if they don't score goals, goal. do we use a, a comma right here? No. 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 Why? Just at the beginning. That's it. It's, it's, because if is between. In the middle. In the middle. In the middle. Uh -huh, because if is in the middle. Next one, if she gets sick, she doesn't go to work. If she, if she, get she, sick, she gets sick, work, she, she doesn't, doesn't go to work. She doesn't go to work. Mm -hmm. The first one is affirmative, and the second one is negative. It doesn't matter. How do we switch them? She doesn't go to work. 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 She doesn't go to yeah. Okay. Solo le damos vuelta, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. She doesn't go to work? If, if she gets sick. Get, 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 get. If she gets, because get of the third person. Get, if she gets sick. Get sick. Mm -hmm. Whoopsie. Um, she doesn't go to work. If she gets sick. Okay. Good, 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 good. And the last one, if you don't take a shower, you smell bad. If you don't take a shower, you don't take a shower, you smell bad. So we have a negative sentence here, and then we have an affirmative. How do we switch it, guys? You smell bad. You smell bad. Take a shower. If you don't take a shower. If you don't take a shower. Take a shower. What is the what is the cause of your bad smell? Oh, <laughs> if you don't take a shower, and what is the effect? You smell, smell bad. You smell bad. bad. Uh -huh. So it doesn't really matter if you say the effect first and then the cause, or the cause first and then the effect. Potato, potato, same thing. Any <laughs> questions so far? No. 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 
Good. And remember, guys, if this is known as, as, the, as the if clause, la cláusula if, or the when clause, la cláusula when, que es la que tiene el if o el when. If you eat too much, coma, you get fat. You get fat you get if fat. you eat too much. You eat too much. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to memorize it, like, oh, if simple present, comma, if simple present, you can have this other option. If, if plus the cause, cause comma, uh -huh. the effect. Or effect. the opposite, right? The effect. So this okay. is the result, the, la, el resultado, if and the cause, mm -hmm. which is the reason. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Any questions with this? No, teacher. No. no, teacher. All right. So what I need you to do right now is for you to make it personal. Okay. The best way for you to memorize something or for you to learn something is if you make it personal. So in my case, for example, uh, I can tell you if I am hungry, I eat everything I find in the freezer. That's me because, you know, I'm a chubby guy. Um, if it's hot, I turn on the fan. Si está caliente, enciendo el ventilador. If I am bored, um, I watch Netflix, for example. Si estoy aburrido, miro televisión. So my point is, guys, for you to mention like very personal things, and also ask your, your classmates. For example, I need a volunteer. Me, I will try. Okay, Jocelyn. What do you do <clears throat> if there is no running water at home? My agua. There is no running water at home and you have a party. Ooh. I don't have running water at home. Uh -huh. I buy Coca Cola because I have a party. Um, yeah, but it, it was about taking a shower. Oh, oh okay, I got it. Uh -huh. I first came back, sorry. No, okay. Um, okay. uh, yes, I don't have running, running water, water at home. home. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I go to my sister's house. Simple, right? To I go to shower. my sister's house. Very good to take a shower. <clears throat> so the thing is this, guys. Uh, me preguntaba Sabrina anoche. Teacher, y solo podemos decir, what do you do? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué es lo que le dije, Sabri? Um, no, que puede, puede cambiar la pregunta. Eh, ay, pero no me acuerdo, teacher. Qué bárbara, wow. qué bárbara. Yeah, Miss Okia, ya nos exhibió. Okay, so. Teacher, teacher. Don't worry. Uh -huh. uh, this card uh, say I call play ping pong when I was with my co worker. No, no could, no was. This is a good example. You don't oh. change the tenses. Simple okay. present, simple present all the time in this okay. one. So, what do you do if? Plus simple present. You can ask this, ask it like this. This one. What mm. do you do if um, if you are sleepy and you can't sleep? If. Y ahí van a responder. If I am sleepy I'm and sleeping. I can't sleep, I drink. I take a valeriana. I don't mm. know. I've escuchado eso. I, I don't mm -hmm. drink pills mm -hmm. to sleep. ¿Me están cachai con eso? ¿O no mucho? Más o menos, más o menos. So, so. Vaya. Vamos a aprender a contestar. Vamos a cambiar el chip a español. Mm -hmm. Vamos a aprender a hacer preguntas y a contestarlas. Porque esto okay. generalmente sí se hace. Mira, y, y tú qué haces como en español. ¿Tú qué haces cuando el bus va lleno? ¿Qué haces cuando el bus va lleno? Cuando el bus va lleno, me pasa el bolsón para adelante. Porque no me saquen las cosas, ¿no? Esta gente es bien, bien busa. Um, ¿Qué haces 
cuando vas tarde y tenés una cita. Mm. Ah, cuando yo voy tarde, tengo una cita, le hablo a la persona y le digo que ya casi mm. llego. Right? Que me espere. Que me espere, ya casi estoy ahí. Uh, ¿qué, sí. ¿Qué haces cuando... ¿Qué haces cuando se te pincha una llanta? Cuando se me pincha una llanta, llamo a mi esposo porque no se cambiaron la llanta. Por ejemplo. Right? So, this is when we use it. What do you do if or what do you do when? Ese, quédense ese pedazo. Y luego simplemente agreguen algo en simple present. Háganme preguntas en español. Yo las paso en inglés. Para que tengan una idea. Vamos, si no sabemos usarlo en español, no vamos a ir de lo que para hacerlo en inglés. ¿Qué hago si se me acaba el gas? ¿Qué haces cuando no hay gas? What do you do when you run out of gas? What do you do when you run out of gas? Entonces, si se fijan, tenemos el what do you do when o if. Y luego, ¿qué tenemos? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? You. You. El verbo. Ahí está en el chat, por cierto. Run. Run complemento. Run. Run. Ahora gas. Ahora gas. Right. ¿Cómo se contesta esto? Generalmente, ¿cuántas veces le he dicho? En la pregunta está la respuesta, en la pregunta está la respuesta. Uh -huh. La pregunta when, está la respuesta. Uh -huh. Entonces, when, when me, when, when, uh, me, when I, when I, when run I run out of gas, gas. Uh -huh. eh, I, I call, uh -huh. I call Zetagas. I call Zetagas, very good. Ahí está. So, no. a la pregunta, y en la pregunta no. lleva parte de la respuesta. Háganme otra pregunta, guys. Uh -huh. Vamos a hacer tres. I call. ¿Qué haces cuando? It doesn't matter if it's in English or Spanish. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Frank. ¿Qué hago cuando se, se queda en casa? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? Cuando se queda el carro. Ajá. What do you do? Eso no lo cambio, vea. What do you do when your car uh, breaks? What do you do when Call your car breaks? Money. Muy bien. ¿Cómo vamos a contestar? When I call the mechanic. When I, car, I car breaks. When, uh -huh, when my car I, breaks, when, comma. When I call the mechanic. I call the mechanic. Call the mechanic. Very good. Mechanic. Se fijan entonces que en la misma pregunta ya va la introducción a la respuesta. Háganme otra, una más. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué haces si te asaltan? Ok, what do you do <laughs> if you get robbed? What do you do if you get robbed? ¿Cómo voy a contestar? If the, I get robbed. If I get robbed. If I get robbed. ¿Cómo? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say when I get robbed. ¿A quién los, los han agarrado los amigos de los gente? Escucha, lo lamento, pero estaba intentando con más. Ay, los ladrones. Hay call de police. I face. Yeah. I face the burglars. If I get robbed, I face the burglars. ¿Qué es les hace frente, no? La última vez que me asaltaron. Mm -hmm. Me volví a subir a la 46, pero esa es otra historia, después se la cuento. Ok. <risa> But this is the thing, guys. El what do you do if or what do you do when, esa frase no va a cambiar, por lo menos para hacer las preguntas, ¿no? Uh -huh. Y luego ponen qué están interesados en saber. Siempre en simple present. Como me preguntaba Sabrina, no solo se puede el what do you do, sino what happens if. Alguna vez cuando están aprendiendo algo, le preguntan a la persona que les enseña, mira, ¿y qué pasa si se quiebra? ¿Y qué, qué pasa si viene un cliente? ¿Qué pasa si me toma el código? Ahí está, ¿y qué pasa si me toma el código? Entonces, aquí está su frase. What happens What if happened? or when, yeah, plus simple present. 
es muy importante que lo sepan ocupar en español o por lo menos que lo relacionen con algo que ustedes ya saben usar para que así solo sea cuestión de idioma y no cuestión de entenderlo del todo. Um, have you ever asked a question like this? ¿Han, ¿Han hecho una pregunta como esta en su vida? Mira, ¿y qué pasa si tal cosa? Yes. yes. Sí, yes. la mayoría yes. de ustedes. Y si no, empiecen a hacerla, señores. Ok, give me, a, give me an example of this, please. Yo sé dónde está. ¿Qué, uh, ¿Qué pasa si no hago la tarea? <laughs> What happens if I don't do the homework? How do I answer? ¿Cómo contesto? If, if I don't do the homework, if you don't do the homework, if En este caso, acuérdense que se lo pueden hacer. ¿Qué pasa si él no hace la tarea? What happens if he doesn't do the homework? ¿Qué pasa si ella no hace la tarea? What happens if she? Siempre el, el sujeto puede cambiar. If I don't do the homework, coma. I failed the, she failed the I don't get a grade. <laughs> I failed the module. Fail. I failed the module. Teacher. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso, si usamos el he o el she, vamos a poner doesn't. Correcto. Ok. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. So far. Any questions, guys? Yo no soy de eso. Se los, creo que, nos, que les ha quedado claro, no lo sé. Soy un teacher que a mí me gusta que entiendan y llevarlos a una situación en la que o entienden o tienen dudas. Pero esas dudas me las tienen que expresar para ustedes poder entender. Si no, no lo van a lograr. No quiero que solo pase un módulo, quiero que de verdad aprendan, les va a servir. So, ya viendo esto, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? No, no teacher. ¿No? Ok, so, vamos a hacer esto, guys. Traten de hacerlo real, escenarios que les hayan pasado en la vida. Y, y al chilazo, porque ya consumimos mucho tiempo en mi afán de que esto se entienda muy bien. Hemos consumido demasiado tiempo, pero si es necesario, es necesario. Ok. Así que en cuanto lleguen a los grupos, empiecen directamente a atacarlo. Vamos, háganse preguntas como esta y traten todos de responder con su opinión personal. ¿Ok? Vamos, por lo menos unos siete minutos. Go for it. Ok. Y se lo devora de you get the invite. What happened, Dior? Los dos pueden ser. Sorry, Dior. Either or, don't worry. Cualquiera de las dos. What happened or what do you do when? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Ah, bye. Entonces, no. What do you when? What do you when? If you don't do your work report, ¿qué pasa si si no haces tus reportes de trabajo? What do you do? What do you do if you don't do your work report? If you don't do your work reports. Your work reports. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What do you do if you... Bye. And, uh, ahora contestemos antes de crear una. Let's answer okay. all of you. Fatima, Carla, and, and San Alfonso. Answer this question with your own information. And then you have another question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sería uh como... -huh. Sería. Me sancionan, no sé. Me quitan el sexting. ¿Cómo te dices? Me dan una, una notificación. Lo vimos antes. Ajá, sería como. Warning. Una... A warning, right? 
Vamos, contestamos ah, entonces. Uh -huh. Entonces sería. Eh, Ajá. Sería. We need the if clause if, first. If don't. No. If you don't, you will report. If I, porque eh, estamos contestando en nuestra ah, perspectiva. Nuestra. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I. Uh -huh. I'm just going to go report the word. Uh -huh. if, if I don't do my work reports, I get a warning. Okay. If I don't do my work reports, I get a warning. Okay. Next, next question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you to practice a little bit more. I want you guys to give me a different result, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A different, a different result. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Um if I don't Mm -hmm. My work report. I work. Mm -hmm. Don Alfonso, Fatima, mm -hmm. help Carla. Um, sería, no, sería. If my work report, different answer, different answer. Sí. Sí, sí, oh, different, different uh, reason, or, uh, perdón, different effect. Mm -hmm. Acuérdense eh, que siempre van a contestar, ahí mismo tienen la pregunta, eso lo mantienen. Sí, sí. Ajá. Entonces sería, eh, I, I, no, ahí, do you go report? Yeah, yeah. I work. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. How, how do we start the answer? What do you do? What do you do? That's the question. How do we start the answer? The answer is if some do my word report, I get a word. Good. Now give me another answer with another effect. Sí. Eh, Cambien el like get a warning y ponen otra cosa. Sería como. Fátima, uh, no te he escuchado. Eh, como el despido del trabajo, después de hacer la especie. If don't the work, my work report. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, your discount. Muy bien. I get a discount. Okay. Muy bien. I get a discount. Lo que quiero es que se fijen en cómo se responde. No importa lo que vayan a decir después. ¿Sí? Ocupan la misma oración. Prácticamente del if sí. para adelante en la pregunta. Agarramos la pregunta. Tomamos del if para adelante. Y eso es nuestra primera parte de la respuesta. Sí. No, no sé qué. Y ahí ustedes ponen una oración en simple present. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Give it a try. Continue okay. with more. And if you have any questions, let me know. Okay. okay. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. I don't watch TV. ¿verdad? Yes. What I... happens if the power goes out? If the power goes out, I don't watch TV. Good job. Easy. Is there another another result or another effect for that question? Mm, I don't receive uh, English class. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But um, give me the full answer, please, Jose. That's great. But give me the full answer so you can practice. I don't. If the power. If the power goes out, I uh -huh. don't receive English class. There you go. Super easy. Keep it up, guys. Let me check a couple of groups more. 
continue doing that. Okay. La otra. Hacemos otra. Hi, teacher. Um, may I hear some examples, please? Yes. Um, what do you do if you run out of money? Mm -hmm. If I run out of money, I I like to someone. Okay. 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 So, Good. Another one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ana Maria, what do you do when you get paid? It's like this, when yeah. you get paid? Yeah. Okay. Okay, get paid. Um, uh, when, I, when I get paid, I, I pay the bills, uh, the rent, <laughs> yeah. by the... <laughs> Um, going to the, going to supermarket. Going to? No. Uh, go, go to. Go, 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 go to, to Yes. So you go can keep this in for press. Go, go to the to, supermarket. Go to the supermarket. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Mm, no. No? No. Fantastic. No. Keep more. Let me check a couple more groups, but you keep one example after the other. Practice makes perfect. Okay. Okay. Oh, I call the Uber to go hospital. <laughs> depend, depend, depend six, the fever and the, uh, depend of lo que tenga, no? It depends on, on, on the symptoms. Oh, okay. Of the symptoms. The symptoms. Okay. Good. I want to hear another one. Show me what you have done, please. Show me what you've done. Present perfect. Show me what hombre tío. Muéstreme lo que han hecho, lo que habéis hecho. Show me oh. what you've you've. What happened if I forget my my PC password? Uh -huh. um, what do happened? what do you what do you do if you lost cell phone? If you if you lose lose cell phone. If, if you lose. If, Lose, if yeah. You lose. Yes. I lose. Yeah. If I what lose, if I lose my cell phone, I uh -huh. call to the company for block or lock. You can okay. block, block it. Block, mm -hmm. block it. Yeah. Block line. Um, Good job. I like it. Remember that when you use call, you don't say call to. You just say, call the company, call my boss, call my friend. No two. Call, uh, call. okay. Mm -hmm. One more, call. please. What do you do the, uh, the, for the, cuando se nos ha arruinado algún zapato que es usual en nosotros las mujeres? <laughs> what do you do you when, sí, ahí salen volando los tacones, I know. I've seen it. O las tapas de los tacones. What do you do if your shoe Break. 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 Uh -huh. What do you do if your shoe? Wait. Si es común, Break. ocupamos if or when. When. Uh -huh. when. This is what. No, yeah. no. It is. The... You, you know. Okay. So when <laughs> my <laughs> shoe breaks. Bro breaks. Wait. Uh huh. When, when I buy new, new shoes, <laughs> I buy new shoes. When my shoe breaks, I buy a new pair. When a new, a new pair. pair of yeah. shoes. All right, keep it up. Let me check two more groups, guys. And, uh, and you're doing great, but don't stop one after the other. Good job. Okay. Thanks. Breaking up with your boyfriend or girlfriend. So I don't know, maybe cry or look for another guy. You know? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to get to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, when I break up with my girlfriend, I looking for another pretty girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, for this topic. Mm -hmm. As long as you're practicing and having fun, I don't care. Good job. However, yeah. remember that you're gonna say I looking or I look for. I 
I look. I look I'm for. sorry. I am. I look. It's simple present. I'm sorry. For. I look for another pretty girlfriend. Look. Bare base. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. 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 Entonces, este, si hacemos una pregunta, por ejemplo, um, what do you do if you are late for work? To, to work. Ajá, uh -huh. to work. ¿Cómo, uh -huh. ¿Cómo la contestaríamos? Depende de qué es lo que hace. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, o sea, la estructura. You got to repeat. You got to repeat. After, what do you do? After if. And when, pretty much you repeat everything else. That's the first part of your answer. Esa es la primera parte de tu respuesta. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you do if you are late to work? If I am late to work, I... Uh, ajá, no, es que solo esa duda entonces del, mm -hmm. del to be que estaba ahí. Bueno, el... I, I want to know if... It's correct to say what is the other. What do you do when you have insomnia? Is correct? Yes. Cuando yeah. tienes insomnia. That's a good question. Okay, okay. And what's the answer? If um, um, I have insomnia, I, I drink some tea. Watch the movie. Good, good, good. If I if I have insomnia, I get okay. some tea. Miguel, Miguel Angel, if I have insomnia, I watch a movie. A movie, yeah. Si tú decís the movie, es porque yo ya sé de qué película estás hablando. Ya me contaste ah. antes. Okay. Right? A movie. A movie, correct. And you, Isela, what do you do if, if you can't sleep? Or if you have insomnia? Um, please. Okay. Um... I think that it's the same that Miguel. Okay, so answer when the same. If I if I have insomnia, I watch some videos on Facebook. Okay. Or YouTube. There you go. Good job. Any questions? Uh, no. no. Fantastic. No, Keep it up. Let me just check one more group, and okay. we we'll go back to the main room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job. Hey guys, how are you doing? No, no, right. Show me, show me your work, please. Um, what do you do if you forget the case inside your car? Oh, that hurts. Okay. <laughs> when I forgot the key, the key, case, keys, the keys in my in in the car. Uh -huh. I call to S O S O S, <laughs> but the the the, the with automatic. <laughs> uh, yeah. If I... I I did it. I did it twice. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you can also call a locksmith. Locksmith. Yeah. Locksmith is a um, is a cerrajero. Is the person who can open a lock. Lock is cerradura. This is locksmith cerrajero. Por qué locksmith a saber pero lock cerradura. Good job. Um, do you guys have any questions? No. Not. All right. Give me one more example, please. What What happens if you lose your iPhone oh, 11. <laughs> if I lose my iPhone, I save to buy another. I, I yeah, I save to buy another one. Otto. Uh -huh. Another one. Another one. Good job. Good job. I like it. Just remember, guys, whenever you say call. You say, call my mom, call my friend. We don't use to. Call to is like Spanish, llamará. Y ahí donde nos vamos a la chicahuita. So call mm -hmm. and the person you're calling or the place directly, no to. Okay. Okay, Thank you. very good. Um, let's go back to the main room then. 
screen. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, okay, now I have more people. Now, I know I said only seven minutes, guys, but I noticed some of you were having difficulties, okay? And remember, I'm your teacher not, to, not just to cover a topic. I'm your teacher to try to make you understand and use it, okay? So, um, si ven que a veces les digo siete y les doy veinte, no es porque me valió, sino porque veo que algunos de ustedes necesitan más tiempo, mayor explicación. Ok. But I see most of you have actually uh, grasped, grasped, that's the verb, have grasped more information and you have gotten more practice in the topic. Ok. I invite you to watch that video, the one I sent you, or any other video, it doesn't have to be mine, and practice every topic you don't really understand. Ok. All right, let's continue with this. We're going to practice a little bit of reading. Here. Here it is. Repeat after me, please. Company procedures and policies. Company procedures and policies. Mm -hmm. Recommendations. Pay attention. Recommendations. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. No, no, I like it. I like it. Um, <laughs> pay attention to the intonation, to the way that I pronounce, to the pauses, and most important, pay attention when I stop to take a breath and continue because you're going to have to read it back to me. Okay. You're going to have some time and you will practice in groups as we did the other class. And I'm going to ask, for example, group one, um, Carlos Armando. And Carlos Armando is going to start. A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide to work. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. Ana Maria, continue. Okay, good. Espérame que no sé dónde viene. Okay, so mm -hmm. one more time. I'm going to ask you to read. No le voy a preguntar quién va a empezar. De grupo, yo le voy a decir quién va a empezar. Y de pronto van a estar leyendo. Yo les voy a decir, stop. Ana María, continue. So I need you to try to do your best and do it as close as possible. Okay. Pay a lot of okay. attention and do your best. All right. Mm -hmm. Van a trabajar en grupos y van a tratar de hacerme esto igualito como yo lo hago. Right? Okay. No sé si vieron un estado que compartí de que estaban contratando a gente que no necesitaban que hablar inglés, solo que lo leyeran bien. No. No, no, no. ¿por qué no nos tiene agregado? <risa> bloqueado, bloqueado. Ok, me cacharon en esa. But, but anyways, um, the point is this. Reading is very important, guys super important in English. You have to read the same way like you're having a conversation. 
tienen que leer como que están hablando, no van a leer como el profe, ¿verdad? Entonces, pongan mucha atención, traten de hacer lo mejor que puedan, sé que no lo van a hacer perfecto, pero este entrenamiento les va a servir mucho. Pueden sacar pisto solo de leer en inglés. Y si trabajan en call center algún día, si lo necesitan, a veces uno dice, puchi, que este técnico sí sabe. Y no es que sepa, solo está leyendo lo que le dice el sistema que lea. Pero lo lee de tal manera que uno piensa que sabe. Entonces, pónganle mucha atención, esto es muy serio, el reading. Uh, traten de hacerlo igualito que yo. Les voy a mandar un audio. ¿Okay? Lo van okay. a hacer conmigo. Pónganle atención a las pausas y luego lo, lo van a hacer en grupo. Ayúdense entre todos. Que cuando regresen, incluso no tiene que ser de grupo por grupo. Lo voy a poner a leer, pausa. Miguel, continúe. ¿Ya? Así que, okay. do your best in this one, guys. And after that, you're going to go and, and, and work with your classmates. All right? Okay. Let's start. I want to hear you as well. Reading. 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 Read the following article about policy and procedure. Read the following, the following, the following, following article about policy and procedure. procedure. And write policy or procedure in the blanks. And write, and write policy, policy or procedure in the blanks. Good. If I say pa, please pa. try to say pa, not po. Pa. If it's like pa. Spanish, then Oh, what is a policy? What is a policy? policy? Remember, if it sounds like a Spanish, like policy, like we say it, it's incorrect. You gotta say it like a gringo in El Tunco. Que bonito ser aquí. Everything explotadito. Right? Let's do it. A policy is a predetermined course of action. Course of action. Course of action. Which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. Which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. Strategies. Strategies. Objectives. 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 In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's visions and their day-to-day -day operations. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's visions and their day-to-day operations. 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 Operation. Operation. Aha, exactly. Good job. Policies identify the key activities. Policies identify the key activities. activities. Identify. 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 The key activities. The key activities. And provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. Arise. To handle. To handle. How to How to handle. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. This is accomplished by providing the reader with a decision-making process and the decision-making process as they act to overcome problems. This is accomplished by providing the reader by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives with limits, with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide that can be, can be used, used to guide their decision-making process 
the decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems. As they attempt to overcome problems. Good. Now that we can say it individually, let's do it completely. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. Thank you. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major features are easily identified. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, mountain ranges, and other major features are easily identified. I like to think of policies I like to think of policies as a globe as a globe where national boundaries where national boundaries where national boundaries oceans oceans mountain ranges Mountain ranges and other major features and other major features are easily identified. Or identified. It doesn't matter if you say identified or identified. Identify. Acuérdense que la NT, señores, puede ser pronunciada solo como N o como T. Identity or identity. Let's continue. What is a procedure? What is, What a, is a procedure? A procedure. The, ultimate, the ultimate goal of every procedure. The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action. Is to provide, is to the, provide the reader, reader, provide the reader with a clear and easily understood, understood, understood plan of action, of action. Of action. required to carry out or implement a policy. Now, everything together. The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out an in or implement a policy. The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out an or implement a policy. A well-written procedure ¿Qué, se, ¿Qué les dije yo de la W con la R? ¿Se acuerdan? Written. Written. ¿Se pronuncia la W? Written. No. 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 Written. So we're going to say written. 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 A well-written procedure will also help I eliminate common misunderstandings. Uh, we're written we're written we're written we're written we're written we're written by identifying job responsibilities by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees now from here to here a well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Go. A well I want to check something. Give me a second. 
Good. I see most of you paying attention, taking notes. That's great. That's great. I like it. Let's continue. Good procedures. Good procedures. Good procedures. Actually permit managers. Actually permit managers. To control events in advance. To control events in advance. And prevent the organization. And prevent the organization. And employees. And employees. From making costly mistakes. From, from making, making costly, costly mistakes. mistakes. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and the organization from making costly mistakes. You can think of a, you can think of a procedure. You can, you can think, think, of of think of a procedure. Think of a, think of a procedure. Think of a procedure. Think of a procedure. Think of a procedure. As a roadmap. As a roadmap. Where the trip details are highlighted. Where the trip details are highlighted. In order to prevent a person from getting lost. In order to prevent a person from getting lost. Or wandering off an acceptable path. Or wandering off an acceptable path. Identified by the company's management team. Identified by the company's team. Identified, in the first day I said identified. No importa. Ambas están bien. Okay. All right. Let's finish with this. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering of an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Go. You can, you can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering of a 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 Try to help each other because you don't know what you're going to read. So try to help each other with the pronunciation. Remember, I know you are not teachers. So I do not expect you to give good feedback. But if you're going to say no, don't say, no, así, hombre. Don't say things like that, you know. Okay. Démosle con este, Alejandro. Procedure. Procedure. Ah, procedure. All right. Good job. Continue. Bye, guys. Um, attendance, real quick. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ana María Chacón de García. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Edson Andoni Guzmán Nando Verde, not present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Not present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela, not present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández, present. José Saúl González Roque, present. Carla Yenet Amaya Herrera, present, teacher. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos, present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes, not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde, present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés, present. Thank you. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Rosina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sabrina Mabeletín Castro. Present, teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present, teacher. 
Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Ok, thank you very much, guys. Gracias por estar aquí un viernes en la noche con lluvia, con tráfico. I really appreciate your commitment. De verdad, aprecio su uh, compromiso. Recuerden, el día lunes es... El día martes... Día lunes no hay clases. Ok. Día martes, sí, no es negociable. Ahí sí tienen que hacer la encuesta. Así que, porfa, no se vayan a zafar. Yo les voy a dar la hora de la encuesta. Ya me la mandaron, pero la verdad no lo he visto. I'm sorry. Um, si quieren, pueden ir adelantando el, la plataforma. Acuérdense, homework, hasta la homework 20. Y también el test, el final test. Cualquier cosa, pónganlo en el grupo. Teacher, no puedo con el ejercicio 5 del test, la parte A, bien específico, y se ponen a screenshot con su respuesta. Así yo veo si le falta una mayúscula, si tiene una coma que no va ahí, si está mal escrito, etc. ¿Ok? Um, lo otro, acuérdense, la encuesta, ¿la van a completar ustedes? No, con usted, no. Muy bien, el día conmigo. Oh, um, con el día de la encuesta, les aconsejo que si es en computadora, tengan dos tabs abiertas. Tab son las pestañas. T -A -B, T-A-B, tab. En una tengan el email que les han mandado, porque es información suya. Y en la otra tengan el link que vamos a abrir. Así ustedes vienen, copian y pegan sin tanto problema. ¿Ok? Ya muchos ya lo hicieron. El nombre de la empresa que sale en el email que les han mandado es muy importante. Porque, por ejemplo, la Curazao no se llama la Curazao. Eh, se llama, creo que... ¿Cómo se llama la Curazao? ¿Alguien? Credicomer. Credicomer. Right? Y tiene que poner ahí Credicomer, bla, 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 bla. Okay. Así que puso con eso. Y lo último, el último mensaje, parte administrativa. Um, human resources, los recursos humanos, recuerden, pregúntele, ¿qué onda? ¿Ya metiste mis documentos? ¿Ya? No los van a mandar ustedes, sino ellos los van a mandar. Pero asegúrense que los metan. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. All right, go to the breakout rooms, guys. Practice this. And I wish you the best. Because this is going to be a surprise. Who's going to read and what you're going to read. Go for it. See you in about 20 minutes. Okay, it's chair. Okay, boss. Boss, hey, boss, boss. Come on, man. Don't say boss. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, let's do this. Some screenshot. Pero dijo que nos iba a mandar el audio, ¿verdad? Yes, ma'am. I'm on it right now. In the meantime, start. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Anita, ¿puedes compartir? Sí, ahorita. <clears throat> Okay. Ahí se ve bien. Sí. Uh -huh. okay. Y el audio ya lo tenemos, ¿está bien? No, no todavía. ¿Cómo dice esa My construction is una, ahí viene, ahí viene, ahí viene, ya llega. Era. Ahí está. Lo voy a ir eh, reproduciendo y para que le vayamos poniendo pausas y así lo vamos leyendo, ¿verdad? Okay. Mando, mando tre, otro más, dicho que son tres. Ella está mandando líneas por líneas, creo. Ah, ok, bye. Me no me voy a poner esto ahorita. Sí, creo que eso hace líneas por líneas porque es más fácil así. Uh 
Okay. Vaya, vamos a empezar con el primero y ahí conforme salgan nosotros vamos a ir hacia el... Uy, 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 uy. Listo. Ok, veamos. A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. Vamos a repetir. A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. Si querés lo voy tratando de detener donde están la, las comas o algo, por decir, lo escuchamos y lo repetimos. A policy is a predetermined course of action. A policy is a predetermined course of action. Course of action. Which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. Which is established, established to provide, to provide a, guide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. Voy a repetir esta parte. Which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. Which is established by a guide to what I said to work business strategies. Esa parte me cuesta ni. To work accepted business strategies and objectives. Strategies. Strategies. Strategies and objectives. Strategies. Business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and In other words, it is a direct communication vision and their day-to-day operations. In their day-to-day operations. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day operations. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day -day operation. operation. Mm -hmm. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. Policies identify the key activities and provide, and provide a, general a generalized strategy to, to decision, decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. They arise. They arise. Uh -huh. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. Mm -hmm. Issues as they arise. Yes. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. Uy, esta la vamos a repetir por pausa. Ay, Dios. Más que está lloviendo aquí, fíjate, casi no escucho. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. Okay. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems. That can be used to guide their decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems. Okay, my master last week. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives. Espérame, espérame, chicos. Ay, qué montón. Sí, son varios. Which is established to provide a guide to our accepted business strategies and objectives. 
In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major features are easily identified. Vaya, ahí llegamos. Perfect. Entonces, ahí comienza. Veámoslo. Yeah. What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a way to what I said, to what I said business strategies and objective. In other regards, it is a direct link between an organization, this vision and the day to day today operation, operation, operation. Uh, operations. Good job, Jose Saul. Um, the recommendation that I'll give you guys is for you to play, for example, not the whole paragraph, play audio number one and work with audio number one. So okay. Everybody with this part. A policy is a predetermined, predetermined course of action. A policy is a predetermined course of action. Y ahí le dan, yeah. So audio okay. by audio. So you have the information uh, fresh. Okay. Try it. Okay. Nuevamente. Okay. Mm. A policy is a predetermined Curso of action. Course of action. Course of action. Curso of action. Curso of action. Aquí, si usted se fija, no pronunciamos la U, sino que es el course. Curse of action. Course of action, muy bien. Curse of action. Which is established. To provide a way to accept. Business strategy and objective. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization, vision, and their day to day operation. Policy identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to the decision. Um, guys, do it, do it one by one, please. So, for example, you're going to go with from a policy to objectives, just that. Do that one first, all of you, Sabrina, Sandra, and Jose, just that one. And once you feel that this is, you know, it's doing good, then you can move to the next. Don't do it all together, so you have the information fresh. So just the first one, a policy is a predetermined course of action, which is established to provide a guide, guide, Toward accepted business strategies, strategies and objectives. Solo eso. Trabajen con eso todos, los okay. tres, y luego se muevan a la otra, pues, para que todos vayan al mismo ritmo y ayudándose. Okay. Y sea okay. una participación más activa de todos, así más rápido, más fluida. Ok, okay. Eh, trataré de hacerlo mejor. A policy is a predetermined yeah. course of action. Course of action. Good, Which good. Which is established to provide a way toward us, toward us business strategy and objective. And objectives. And objective. And objective. Very good, Jose Saul. Way better. Good job. So everybody work with that one, okay? Okay. Mm, okay. Um, a policy is a predetermined course of action. Which is which is established to provide a guide toward as a business strategies and objectives. Strategies. Strategies. Uh -huh. Y aquí es donde se ayudan. Si usted ya lo dijo y está bien, como por ejemplo strategies. Y alguien dice algo diferente, ahí se pueden ayudar. Okay. Si no le sale sí. la persona, tampoco hay que insistir tanto, pues, porque hay, you know, cosas que cuesta acostumbrarse. All right, guys, keep it up. Let me check another group. 
Okay. Operation. Policies identify the case activity and provide and general strategies to decision marker marker on how to handle uses as they arise. Is the accomplished is accomplished is accomplished by, by providing the reader with limit and choice of alternative that can be used to give their decision marking process of the attempt the overcome problem. I like to think the police I I like to think of policies as a, as a globe where not national boundaries. Boundaries. Mountain mountain rice and other major factors. No. Features. Features uh -huh. are L easily easily identified. Yeah. Good, good, Caldavania. Good job. Recommendation, guys. Play one audio and all of you repeat that part. Right? Yeah. Okay. Then you play another audio and all of you repeat that part. So you can have the listening fresh and you can yeah. practice it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Pues hagámoslo así si quieren. Hagamos el audio. Voy a poner el primero. Y lo practicamos. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. Ok. De nuevo. A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. Ok. Stra strategies. Strategy. 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 Here the sounds. Strategy. 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 Good. All right. Fatima. And you, Fatima. Apple is a present course action. We establish a provide a yield toward a set business strategy and objectives. Very good, very good. We can say guide, guide. Okay. Uh -huh. Say it with me, uh, Fatima. Ga guide. 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 Uh -huh. guide. On the final, guide. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. La otra, Carla. Okay. Good. Keep it up, the guys. Second. The second second. Okay. In other words, it is a direct link of policies as a globe where national boundaries, ocean, ma mountain rangers, and the other major features are easily identified. Good job, Ada. Easily. Oh. Easily identified. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the real with a clear and easily understand plan of action required to carry out or implement a police. A, a policy. Writing, a policy, a will writing procedure will also help Eliminate, eliminate common uh -huh. misunderstandings by identifying your responsibilities and the establishing boundaries for the employees. Good, the procedures is actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from make, making costly mistakes. You can think of procedures as a roadmap where the three details are 
I like in order to prevent a person from the giving lot of or gardening of an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Good, good job, good job. Also, the other way you can do it, guys, is for you to play one audio and the three of you to use that audio, you know? So you can all work at the same time. If we read it completely, it's difficult to pinpoint or pinpoint, es así como seleccionar cositas en particular, pinpoint um, the, the areas of opportunity. Si leemos todo el párrafo, nos va a costar así como seleccionar. Uh, for example, Ada, you can say um, actually, say it with me, please, actually. 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 Muy bien, solo puede decir. Entonces, si nosotros lo leemos de corrido, ya lo leyeron parte por parte. Entre todos. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya? Yeah. Yeah. ¿Para cada uno? No. Pero no. sí hemos leído para. Ok. Um, for example, the ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood, bla, bla, bla. Todos van a decir el mismo. Um, ah, ok. Ok. Así, okay. así ustedes se dan cuenta. Mm, esta me cuesta. Escúchenlo y luego hagan ustedes. Listen and then you do it yourself. But you're doing good. I like the way you, you read uh, Ada. Nice flow. Nice rhythm. Good job. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Keep it up. Features are easily identified. Sorry. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Features. Features are easily identified. Features. Features. Where is the mm -hmm. correct pronunciation? Future, features, features, major features. 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 Two sounds. Features. 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 Mm -hmm. features. Mm -hmm. Okay. Features. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Features. What is the other one? Is yeah. Establishing. And Establishing. What is Establish. 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 To work, to work, to work. Yeah, misunderstanding, misunderstanding is correct. Yeah, well, we, Mis we have problem to pronounce misunderstanding. <laughs> misunderstanding. Nah, you, you, can, you can pronounce it correctly after a, a few tries. Don't worry, you gotta practice with that. You can pronounce it, pronounce. <clears throat> pronounce. Okay. okay, practice one more time. See. It's Before you do it complete, guys, because we only got like four minutes, um, okay. I want you to try and read audio. You play one audio, you all read that part. Another audio, you all read that part. And wow. you help each other with, with the areas of opportunity. Okay. Yeah, we, we already uh, did it. Okay, with, great. With your audios. If yeah. you already did it. We have, we have been practicing. That's the point. You know, but we, this, we, this is a but we only, uh, yeah, we are only, we are only reviewing this, some words that we cannot pronunciate. Pronounce. After pronounce. pronounce. Uh -huh. We cannot pronounce. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Good job. Okay. So we have only two minutes or three minutes. Three. Okay. Go for it. Call. Uh -huh. of every product is to provide the read with a clear and um, early under some plane of action required to care out or implement a policy policy a well grid product pro will also help Eliminate common minister that their style bill be 
identify, identifying job responsibility and start building borders for the employers to produce actually permit managers to control events in advance um, prevent the organization and employed from marking costly means you can deem of a produce as a road where the drip delis are hanging hey, them in order to prevent a person from getting lost a watering of acceptably pay identity with the company manager team. Good job, Miriam. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. I liked it. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. All righty, um, you can finish. We have one more minute and then we go back. Keep on practicing. Still have a minute of practice. Uh -huh. Go for it. You still have a minute. <laughs> está bien complicado. Yes, indeed it is. <laughs> go, 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 go. What is a procedure? The ultimate goal of very procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement the policy. Uh, while writing procedure, we also help eliminate common misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Misunderstandings. By identifying job responsibilities. Actually, permit management managers to control events in advance to prevent the organizations and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure has a roadmap where the deep details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting. Hello there, guys. Welcome back. Aha. Uh -huh. How was this? <laughs> From one to ten, how complicated is this? Um, little complicated. Okay. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So from one to 10, 10 is super difficult, one piece of cake. What's your score ten. for this? 10 for me. Okay, 10 for Sabrina and for the rest? Mm, five. Nine. <laughs> five for some, okay. Nine. Nine. All righty. Nine. I know it's not easy, but you have to. Okay. I don't want to compare, guys. No quiero comparar a nadie. Pero van bien con su reading, van bien con su pronunciation, van bien con su listening. Es un proceso. In other Mucho words, aquí. it is a direct link between an organization's vision and... Qué bien se oye ese muchacho. Um, muchos aquí han crecido increíblemente. Yes. El momento que empezaron hasta ahorita ha sido un largo camino y han crecido. La idea es no se detengan y ejercicios como este les van a llevar su inglés a otro nivel. Simple. Les cueste 10, les cueste 20, síganle metiendo. Okay? So let's get this done. I'm going to get the first victim. It'll be. Where's the chat? Let me get my victims. I'm going to say stop in order for you to stop. And then I'm going to mention the name of the next person. All right. Uh, let's just start with. I'm going to do it in order, right? Ana Maria. Okay. <laughs> uh, the rest of you, what, turkey face. Mm -hmm. What is the police? A police is a predetermined course of action which is, which is established to provide a guide to our accepted business strategies and objectives. Continue. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization visions and their day-to-day -day operations. Pause, Roberto Luis. What? Roberto, Luis. 
Policies identify the key, the key activities and provide a general strategy to decisions makers. Strategy. Continue, Luis. To decisions makers on how to handle issues and they arise. This is accomplished by providing to read with limits and a choice, choice of alternative mm -hmm. that can be used to see the guide. Pause, continue, Jocelyn, good job. Okay. Okay. The decision-making process that they attain to over problem. I like to think as policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountains, ranger, and other major features are easily identified. Stop, what is it? Okay. Con todo me llega, Cardevania. Mm -hmm. Cardevania. Sorry, Samuel. Uh -huh. <laughs> What is a pro pro procedure? The ultimate goal of very produce is provide the red with a clean and healthy, healthy understood plan plan of action required to carry of or implement a policy. A uh, well written pro procedure will also help Eliminate com, common mission. Eso me cuesta, teacher. Si se fijan, no le estoy corrigiendo a nadie. Me. Somebody from the group? Help me, please. Mission Derstan. Mission Derstan. There, there you go. Okay. Stop. Mm. Jose Saúl, good job. Uh, continue, continue. Yes, please. Um, by identify your responsibilities and establishing boundaries for, for the employees. Good procedures actually, actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. Thank you. you. Good job, Sab Sabrina. Get in. Good job, Jose. Thank you. Perdón, ¿a dónde te quedaste? Mm. Uh, you can you can think of a procedure or a roadmap where the trip die are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering of an acceptable but identified by the company's management team. Yep. Sandra, start all over, please. Yeah, start all over. Como empezar de nuevo. Start all over. Okay, okay. What is a policy? A policy. A policy is a predetermined course option which is established to provide a guide to work accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization vision and their and their day-to-day -day operation. Thank you very much, Fatima. Police identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision making. Home to handle is or they arise. This accomplished by providing the reading with limits in the shoes 
of alternate, they can be used to give, give. their decision making process as they tend to over problems. Okay, thank you very much. Um, in front of everybody, Fatima says that for her, it is very difficult to do this. And Fatima, let me tell you, you have done a great job. Very different from your first day in class. Congratulations. I like it. Don Alfonso, continue. I like Sorry. I like it. Olive as a global national boundary, ocean, mountain ranger. As a roadmap, for the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering of an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the ready with a clear and safe gender. Lane of action requires to carry out or implement a policy. Okay, thank you very much, Rene. Good job. Who was with you in the group? I don't see them. There was one more person, I think, with you. Who is the, that person? I don't see the other member of the group uh, in the in the chat. So, Fatima, Rene, and who's the other one? In that group? Carla. Carla Janet? Oh, Carla Ivania. Ah, yeah, I changed Carla Ivania to another group. That's right. All right, Ada, continue, please. What well, is the procedures? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the ready with a clear and the easily understand plan of action required to carry out, implement a police. A well writing procedures will also help eliminate. eliminate come out mis misunderstandings by identifying your responsibility, responsibility and the establishing boundaries for the employees. Thank you very much, Good. Carlos Armando. Good job, Ada. Carlos? Okay, great. Okay. Good procedure actually permitted manager to control event in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a, proce a procedure or a roadmap where the, trip, where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering of acceptable uh, of and accept all the path identified by the company manager's team. Good job, nice fluency. Carla Inet, start all over, please. We got four minutes to finish this activity. Uh, what is a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action, which established to provide a guide to what a set of business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day operation. Good job, Isela. Good job, Carla. Nice, nice fluency. Policy identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. The, this is accomplished by providing their reader with limits and choice of alternative that we can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. Thank you very much. I like to think of policy as a glove where dash okay. down boundaries. Delio, ya estuvo. Me pasó. Delio. <laughs> Ocean, mountains, ranges, and other major features are easily identified. Good job. Like it. Very good. Let's continue with Miguel. Good job, Isela. Thanks. What is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader, reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a police. A well reading, reading, reading procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings 
by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Thank you very much. Good job, William. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details, details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Good job, man. Liked it. Deborah, start all over, please. This is the last one. A, a policy is a policy is pre, predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide toward a set business strategies, strategies and objectives. In the order, in other words, it, it is a direct, direct link between an organization vision and their day-to-day -day operation. Thank you very much. Jose Antonio, good job. Polish identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision maker on how to, to handle issues as they arise. Arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader, the reader which limit in the choice of alternative or of alternative that can be used to guide their decision making processes as they often to overcome problems. Okay, good I job. Like to Catherine, good job, Jose. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major features um, easily identify, identify. Uh, Tigo. Yes. Please. <laughs> okay. What is a procedure? The ultimate goal of very procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. Good job. Thank you very much, Miriam. Uh, a green green product will also help. Eliminate goal minus their items, be identifying job responsibilities and um, stability borders for employees, work products actually permit managers to control events in advance and um, prevent the organization and uh, employers from making costly mistakes. Uh, oh, go on, go on. Okay. <laughs> you can you can deem on a product as a road malware the three days are having headset in order to prevent a person from getting close a warning of um acceptably pain identify they be the company manager teams. Good job. You had the last piece. Yours was the longest. Very, very good job, Miriam. Thank you very much. Now, guys, let's take attendance before we finish. And by the way, Sandra, your turn today, okay? 10 to 10, 10. Yes. All righty. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. Present. Carly Vane Cabrera Serrano. Present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Edson Andonio Guzmán de Verde, not present. Fátima Efegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Not present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Not present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Guerrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes, not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. 
Present. Miren, Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Reina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Sabrina Mabaletín Castro. Present. Sandra Elisa de Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. All right, thank you very much. Um, something I want to share with you real quick. ¿Quiénes de ustedes identificaron errores de pronunciación? Me. No en ustedes, Me. sino en otras personas. Me. Ah. Me. And, Me. And Me. you. Sin decir. Um, sin decir quién. No, en la no. suya también, teacher. Faltó una palabra. Help. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Vaya babosada, ¿verdad? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no la vio venir. I didn't see that coming. That's right. All right. Gracias, Ana María. El próximo módulo creo que no va a poder eh, conectar. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No la respuesta, teacher. Vaya. Se fijaron, se fijaron que yo no corregí a nadie. ¿Saben por qué no los corregí? Porque no me necesitan para eso. ¿Ok? Simplemente ahí tienen un audio. Ustedes traten de pegarle. Y si es posible, grábense. Y comparen audios. La cosa es que, por ejemplo, policies. Everybody with me, policies. 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 Es de las más difíciles para ustedes. Misunderstanding. 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 That's right. Um, so with this, ¿quiénes notaron que unos leen más rápido que otros, a otros les cuesta más que otros? Sí. Se notó, ¿no? El punto yeah. es este: no se comparen. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, That's Fátima lleva con promise. nosotros un módulo. Es el primer módulo que está conmigo y Fátima desde el día uno ha crecido bastante. ¿Verdad? El salto que Fátima ha dado es muy grande. Y así va a seguir. Si sigue con esto, lo va a lograr. El punto es, no se comparen ni en lo chiquito ni en lo grande, sino que si ven que alguien necesita ayuda y se llevan bien y saben cómo hacerlo sin que la persona se sienta mal, démosle, hey, mira, necesitas ayuda. O mejor, esperen a que se la pidan, ¿verdad? porque a veces uno por ayudar queda mal. Y a los que van arriba, traten de ayudar. Los que van en el proceso, pregunten, ¿cómo lo hiciste? ¿Ok? Porque prácticamente en un módulo de ellos que dicho, puede. Básico 2. Y les decís esa pregunta en frente del grupo. No la vio venir. Alguien le preguntó a él, ¿cuánto llevas vos estudiando? Básico 2. Dos años. Entonces, en dos años, no, no me voy a meter si ha subido o no ha subido. Porque yo llevo pausado el francés como por cinco años. ¿Vale? Right? Entonces, uno piensa, este puede, me desanimo porque yo no estoy ahí. Y no es el punto, porque no sabemos lo que ha hecho para llegar ahí. All right? Así que, más que clases de inglés, guys, yo quiero siempre motivarlos a que si van a aprender algo, háganlo bien, a que sepan que el proceso es largo, si no todo el mundo hablar inglés. Y um, que lo sigan haciendo de la mejor manera. Lo otro, uh, we're almost done here. Generalmente yo no hago esto, pero... Necesito que todos estén el martes. Ya saben por qué. Y lo otro, porque va a ser mi última clase con ustedes. Ok. Desafortunadamente, yo no voy a seguir con ustedes el otro módulo. Por ahorita. Puede ser que los encuentren más adelante. Tengo ciertos planes. Um, y quiero que me demuestren el día martes que han estado conmigo los de, desde el básico 1. Que me demuestren que de verdad les importa. Si no, pueden, obviamente, vean cómo se conectan. <ríe> es que... Así que quiero que, que despidamos la última clase conmigo fuerte y que todas las veces que los detengo y que este solo babosada habla, no señores, mi intención siempre ha, ha sido darles una herramienta que ustedes de verdad logren aprender y no ir pasando esta cosa como que es la universidad o el colegio. ¿Ok? Así que okay. nada, espero que estén conmigo, que les sigan metiendo. Siempre va a estar el canal, tal vez lo retomo en un par de meses por si quieren hacer cosas en inglés. Yo tengo un proyecto personal que no me gusta mencionarlo por, por el conflicto. Así que si me ven más adelante, me preguntan y con gusto los ayudo. ¿Okay? De la misma manera, bueno, aunque no sea su tiempo. 
Sí, claro, aunque no sea su teacher, me pueden escribir. Ah. Señores, yo de pronto me escriben estudiantes que yo tuve hace tres años. Mm. Hey, yo no le quería eh, escribir hasta que eh, no, hay, no hubiese cumplido tal meta. Ya le estoy ayudando a mi mamá a construir su casa por el trabajo que usted me ayudó a conseguir. Aquí está. Entonces yo quiero tener esa relación con ustedes. No me olviden, no lloren tampoco, pero no me olviden. Mm. Este, y tengan la confianza de venir conmigo cuando lo necesiten. Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. could you help me my homework in the future? <laughs> que si nos puede ayudar con la tarea más adelante. <laughs> Usted sí que ha venido bien, 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 bien. Mentira, mentira. Sí, sí, sí. Ahora, ahora. You can send it to me. Um, so, nothing. I just have nothing, nothing else to add. This is it. Just make sure you do your best. Make sure um, that you're not average, please. No sean promedio. De verdad, si van a hacer algo, hagan lo que tengan que hacer para lograrlo. No se queden, disculpen, no se lo digo a ustedes, pero mucha gente se queda en la mediocridad, en el conformismo, en el que estoy, vivo con mis papás, en el tengo el pisto suficiente, no me interesa. Y a veces, cuando de verdad lo necesitan, no dan ese paso a esa zona de confort. A veces salir a lo, a lo desconocido da mucho miedo. A veces llegar cansado del trabajo. A veces uno se han conectado desde fuera del país. Yo me conecté desde fuera del país también. Y, este, y no quieren dar ese paso. Si están aquí es porque lo quieren dar. Y solo los invito a que sigan dando ese paso y que no se detengan. Punto. Esta cosa no es fácil. All right. Ay, no es fácil. No, my, my girl is talking to me. All right. So, any questions, guys? Vamos a cerrar esto con un, con un question round real quick. ¿Alguna pregunta? Temas que, que sean complicados en cuanto a reading, tips. Aprovechen. Teníamos una duda cuando hicimos los ejemplos anteriores. ¿Cómo uh -huh. se... What do you say? Um, What do you do if there is not electricity in your house? Okay. Correct? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. Okay. If there is not... If there is I mean, no. I, okay, esa era la duda, yes. si es not or no. Yeah. Okay. If there is no ele electricity in my house, mm -hmm. I like... I like some candles or I use the cell phone lamp. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the cell phone no. um, lamp. Yeah, you can you can lamp use lamp or light. For cell phone. Mm -hmm. Light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use light. Light. I just or have lamp. A, I have a brain fart right now. Okay. So is, is if there is no no okay. If there is no I got a brain fart right now. Flashlight. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. Give me a second. Flashlight. 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 You use the uh, cell phone flashlight. Yeah. Yeah. Let's use that one because I'm not. I'm not really really sure with that one cell phone flashlight yeah i think you can use it not 100% okay. sure but yeah i think you can use it okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um guys i have a question based on that reading did you get new vocabulary oh very much vocabulary right. so what's a procedure guys a procedure just give me one uh-huh william okay. What do you think is a procedure, as short as possible, or a synonym of procedure? Uh, for example, the procedure for entering the workplace. Uh huh. Mm, What's that procedure? Walk, walk on carpet with sanitizer. Uh huh. Clean, clean hands with alcohol gel. Yeah. And you take the temper, temperature. 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 So temperature. That's a mm -hmm. procedure, right? What other mm -hmm. word can you use instead of procedure? Oh. If we have steps, 
what's that? Step one, step two, step three, what's mm -hmm. that? This is a process to follow. A process, <laughs> correct. Processes. So what is the other way of saying procedure? Process. 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 Correct. And what about policy, this difficult word? Say it with me one more time, please. Policy. Policy. What's a policy? Give me examples of policies at work. Mm. 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 Give, me a give me examples of policies here in mm -hmm. the class. Oh. <laughs> Turn, the uh, turn on the camera. Turn on the camera. camera. Uh -huh. Turn on the camera. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh -huh. We do. We do Pay homework. attention. Uh -huh. Do your homework. Mm -hmm. What is this that you're doing right now? No. You're participating, right? Part yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Taking notes. Taking notes. Yep. Yeah. What is another word of saying policy? Rules. rules. Correct. Rules. A rules. policy is rules. a rule. Something you have to do. Something you have to follow. All right? Mm -hmm. Policies, rules. Procedures, process. Pro right? Okay. So that's all I needed. I just wanted you to have it clear. I'm going to ask for this on, on Tuesday. And that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for being here on a Friday night. Please be okay. here on Tuesday. And have a wonderful week and happy Mother's Day to all of you moms. Thank you. That's, Thank it. You get, that's it. Get out of here. Don't get sentimental. Oh, get out of here. I'm going to stay with Sandra. Have a good night, guys. Happy Mother's Day. Bye. 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 Hey. <laughs> we can talk about that. Maria. Yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah, but not here. Get out of here. Bye. Bye. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Thank, you. Thank you. Have a day, the mothers, the group. Thank you. Okay, Sandrita, tell me. Uh, okay, este, yo me quedé con duda en el tema que vimos ayer. Cuando mm -hmm. hicimos las oraciones con possibility, 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 eh, possibility suggest, mm -hmm. no, suggestion mm -hmm. y request. Yeah. Estábamos armando las oraciones y eh, llegamos a un punto que nos confundimos porque estábamos con request. Y estas eh, teníamos que evaluar si era posibilidad. Posibil uh -huh. Ajá. Nice. Entonces, ahí sí, sí, sí nos confundimos un poco. Entonces, ahí sí le pido que me ayude para poder aclarar. Porque eh, request, posibility o request, eh, suggestion. Suggestion. Suggestion, sí. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. Vaya. Primeramente, Sandra, la, la, la situación de possibility y, um, y suggestion es casi, a veces, ¿cómo le podría decir? Una posibilidad puede ser como que el mayor, la mayor idea, puede ser que hablemos de posibilidad, pero también es una sugerencia y puede Ajá. pasar al final, que puede ser una sugerencia pero también en menor medida es una posibilidad. ¿Okay? O sea que puede ser ambas al mismo tiempo. Sin necesidad de que nosotros digamos, ah, esta es sugerencia y esta es posibilidad. Uh -huh. Entonces, mi idea es que ustedes sí sepan que existen ambas. Right? Pero estas dos van muy unidas. Súper, uh -huh. súper unidas. No, sí, no es necesario sería. siempre. A menos uh -huh. que sea totalmente que el mismo contexto ya sea claro ¿no? Uh -huh. y así usted va a saber cuando escuche algo no necesariamente tiene que identificarlo le va a caer el 20 inmediatamente ¿Okay? uh -huh. hay unas que son súper claras, ah esto es posibilidad 
Uh -huh. Esto okay. es, por ejemplo, sugerencia. ¿Ya? Y si uh -huh. andan entre los dos, no importa, porque igual es algo positivo, como que vienen a llevar a lo, a lo mismo. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Una opción, ya sea, suger ya sea sugerencia o ya sea posibilidad, alguien está dando a usted una opción. ¿Ok? Si okay. gusta, deme los ejemplos que tienen con los que tuvo inconvenientes y, y, y los discutimos. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, teníamos, eh, could you get one at Simán? Um, vaya, en esa depende del contexto. Okay? También quiero uh -huh. dejar claro uh -huh. que, que el request ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Casi siempre los requests van en pregunta. Casi uh -huh. siempre, ¿no? Entonces, esta... Um, could you get one at Simán? Uh, sí. Uh -huh. Ajá, puede siempre andar brincando. Mm. Porque, ¿cómo le puedo? El request usted le está pidiendo a alguien que haga algo por usted. Ajá. Uh -huh. right? Entonces... Sí podría ser, por ejemplo, digamos que yo quiero comprar un freidor de aire y usted me dice eso, could you get one at Simán? Me está como preguntando si hay la posibilidad. Ajá. Ya, con una pregunta me está diciendo, ¿cómo? ¿crees que puedes encontrar uno en Simán? Creo que podrías encontrar uno en Simán, ¿verdad? Eso más que todo es como preguntando de la posibilidad. Porque si usted estuviese segura, le dijera, hey, you could get one at Simán. Ya no como pregunta, sino que le estoy diciendo. Uh -huh. Y esa sí es una sugerencia posibilidad. Uh -huh. ¿No? sí, ¿Qué, sí, ¿qué pensaron ustedes que era este? Eh, Posible. Ajá, está, Posible. está bien. Está Ajá. bien. Por el contexto, sí. ¿no? Sí, por el contexto. Ah, eh, otra que era que estábamos con la duda que este ya era su suggestion. Could you lend me money this day? Esa, ¿qué piensa usted que es? Para mí era posibil, possibility. Sí. Eh, request. Exactamente. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Acuérdese que. Ahí le está pidiendo pisto a alguien, ¿no? Ajá. Claro que es un request. Obviamente, es lo que yo le digo, que ahí yo le puedo preguntar, o usted puede pensar que le está preguntando a la persona si hay una posibilidad. Pero eso ya va uh -huh. intrínseco, vea. O sea, la, la, la mayor parte es request. Usted quiere saber si se lo puede dar. Sea una posibilidad o no para la persona. ¿verdad? Usted está pidiendo algo. So, yes, okay. that's a request. Ok. Ok, tenía otra duda. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo existe alguna eh, regla para los verbos en pasado? Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo determinar eh, la forma en que lo vamos a escribir? Porque estaba viendo algunos ejemplos. Por ejemplo, eh, stop. Uh -huh. El verbo en pasado es stopper. Yes. Sí, ajá. Eh, quiero ver otro verbo. ¿Pero usted quiere saber de los regulares o de los irregulares? De los irregulares. Ok. Stop sí, es regular. Es... Ajá. Oh, y le... okay. Vale. Quizás me voy a salir un poquito de esto así rapidito. Stop. Ese es el Ajá. base, ¿no? ¿Cuáles sí, son, las, ¿cuáles son las vocales, Sandra? O. Oh. A, E, U. A, E, I, O, U. Ah, sorry, sorry. Ah, don't worry. Las vocales son la A, E, O, U. Las consonantes hay todas las demás. Esta quizás lo confundió porque lleva doble P. Ajá. Entonces, al final de una, de una palabra hay una regla que es consonante, vocal, consonante. Se la voy a decir rápido porque tiene varias. Si son monosílabas, todas van. Pero si no, tiene que tener el acento al final. Eso lo podemos ver después. La T... ¿Cuáles son las últimas tres palabras, tres letras, perdón, de esta palabra? Stop. Ajá. Es, es, ahí, ahí está escrita, la puede ver en el chat. Las últimas tres okay. letras. Ahorita lo veo.
P E C. C O P. The stop. T O P. Ah, no, stop. no, no, no. Ah, es que están otras tres otras tres letras. Ajá. Entonces las Ajá. últimas tres letras de stop son consonante, la T. Sí. Vocal, la O, consonante, vea. Entonces, uh -huh. cuando usted tiene eso en cualquier cosa, las palabras terminan en consonante, vocal, consonante, usted le va a doblar la última consonante. Por eso es que uh -huh. lleva doble P. Antes de agregarle uh -huh. el ED, porque es un verbo regular, lleva doble P. Uh -huh. okay? Uh, ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, cut. Bueno, no, pero es que cut me tendría que meter en que ING. Mantiene. Ah. Eso, por eso es que usted me dijo stop, que puede parecer que es un verbo irregular, pero no lo es. <ríe> es por esta regla de consonante, vocal, consonante al final. Hay que doblar la última consonante. Uh -huh. Ok. Vaya. Y para contestarle su pregunta de los verbos irregulares, Sandra, no. La verdad es que no hay una regla en sí. Los verbos hay que memorizarlos. Sin embargo, sí hay patrones. Okay. Yo te, creo que guardé un, una, una foto que encontré en Facebook. Por ejemplo, está cut, cut, cut. cut. Okay. Que si usted se fija, no cambia, vea. No, no cambia. Entonces, tome una lista de verbos irregulares, en, en específico, y vaya buscando todos los verbos que no cambian. Ok. Y se los memoriza de un solo, o sea, por bloques, obviamente, unos 5 o 7 al día. Pero usted ya sabe que todos estos verbos tienen la misma forma. ¿Okay? Uh -huh. Hay otro que tiene la estructura como uh, run, run, run. ¿Verdad? Como que tenemos el pasado participio, es el mismo que el principio, vea. Uh -huh. Hay otro, por ejemplo, come, came, come. Com. ¿Ya vio el patrón ahí? Sí. Que solo cambia el de en medio. El de en medio. Entonces busque todos esos y se los aprende de un solo. ¿Ya? Sí, sí, de acuerdo. Entonces, ¿Sabe por qué? Lo Porque a... le, va, le va a dar un poquito más de lógica. Sí. Si usted se los aprende uh -huh. desordenados, va a ser puchica. Y esto, pero así, si usted ya lo pone en orden, ya le va a entender más. Por ejemplo, drink, drunk. Uh, drunk. drunk. Y ahí vamos con sing, sang, song. Um. ¿Cuál es el patrón que le entiende ahí? Fíjense en la vocal. Sing, sang, sí, es la única que cambia es la vocal. O sea, el patrón y sería. Otras, el patrón. Ajá. I, A, U. Correcto. Entonces, esos son los pequeños patrones que usted tiene que ir identificando. Yo desde hace meses quiero hacer una lista de estos, pero no lo he hecho. No, no hay excusa, sí, no lo he hecho. No lo he hecho, no, no voy a dar excusa. Mm. Eso es lo que puede hacer y le aseguro, le, 100% que le va a ser más fácil hacerlo. Porque ya la mente ve que algo se repite, es más fácil de... de, de sí, tener. más fácil. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, es más fácil. De acuerdo, entonces, esas eran las dudas y las otras, pues... Que yo había apuntado unas palabras que sí están bien difíciles de pronunciar, pero uh -huh. mejor voy a estar escuchando el audio. ¿Cuál, por ejemplo? Porque en la de misunderstanding. Good. El último consejo que le doy con esto en cuanto a pronunciación, Sandra, es eso. Ajá. Por eso es que no le corregí a nadie, porque lo quiero alentar a que ustedes lo hagan solo. Yo no voy a estar siempre ahí. Pero uh -huh. anote ahí. Usted tiene, para pronunciación es más fácil separar las palabras en, en sílabas. Uh -huh. Como por ejemplo, man, sa, na. Ajá. ¿Ya? Ahí vamos a, va a ser muy, algo difícil, pero trate de buscar la vocal. Mis o los sonidos. Mis, son, uh -huh. there's, ten, ding. Uh -huh. Entonces divídala así y escríbala. Por ejemplo, Ya nos pasamos un poquito, pero usted no se preocupe. ¿Dónde está esto? Vaya. Esa es la palabra que le cuesta, ¿no? Usted va a hacer esto. Mi, sí. san, 
there's 10 things. Y siempre póngale donde lleva la fuerza de voz. Pronuncie la hora. Misunderstanding. Ahí está. Misunderstanding. Okay. Lo dijo bien a la primera. ¿Y cuántas veces lo practicó? Ahorita. Mm -hmm. Ninguna vez. No, ninguna. A la primera. Mm -hmm. Pero eso poco, obviamente, mm -hmm. va con, con práctica, va desarrollando el oído. Pero esa es la idea de, de, de esto. Divídala. Ve a dónde va el, est el estrés en la fuerza de voz. Y si lo va a escribir, uh -huh. póngalo entre, así como en la. Uh, el, des, este es el como forward el, slash, no sé cómo se dice. Sí. La, la pleca, creo. La pleca, la pleca. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué lo pone así? Uh -huh. Y con, lo, con las rayitas, con el dash, para que usted no vaya a confundir la escritura con la, con, con, con la pronunciación. Con, con la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Y ahí está. Okay. Vio que, que okay. entre comillas, porque yo le ayudé. Pero sí, yo que lo puedo decir a la primera. Ahí está la manera okay. de cómo puede mencionar, eh, pronunciar las palabras difíciles. Sí, sobre todo esa que es bien larga. Ah. Hoy sí nos puso puros trabalenguas. Claro, esa es la idea. Toparlos <risa> al, al cerco para que saquen lo mejor de ustedes. Y lo, y lo hice. Bueno, teacher. Ok, Sandra. Thank you very much. Te agradezco. Have a good night. Take okay. care. Bye. Bye-bye.